campaign structure. Um, it's probably the number one thing that a client probably says to us when starting a project. Um, I have all these products. How do I group these together? What campaigns am I going to launch? How do I really start out? So me and Philip are going to break down what does it look like for the small seller that's scaling from maybe zero to 100 products? And what does that look for the large and massive distributor or conglomerates that are doing 5,000 plus SKUs? So Philip, let's first start with what does that journey look like for the very small seller? How would you structure their campaigns? 100%. So you have to think of an e-commerce seller and a brand that's just starting as just a person with no shelter. So your end goal is to build the Burj Khalifa, which is millions of dollars on Amazon each year. How do you think the Burj Khalifa was made? With a very, very strong and sound foundation. If you don't have that massive foundation, you aren't going to be able to propel and build hundreds of stories on top of it. Because once you put in that se second edition or you start having stuff in the second story and it starts wobbling because you didn't get your step one, two and three right. So campaign structure is essential for making sure that you can actually grow the brand and start pouring money into it directly. The way I recommend for all beginner sellers, um, you have to find a fine line between having as many campaigns as possible so that you can turn each dial to the exact dimension. Um, but also you're going to your main structure and your main the word I would say is obstacle in the beginning is your budget. So you need to find a fine line between how many campaigns can I have? That'll give me the best ability to actually fine tune everything, but keep within my budget. Cause once you have a thousand campaigns, it's very hard to spend a dollar on day on them. Cause you're not going to see any performance. So for someone who's first starting out, I would recommend getting all your products and grouping them by product.